Hello, my beautiful friend. We are back with day three of the Start From Chal- Start From Scratch Challenge. And today we're going to cover the how. So landing your first client without building a website, I'm going to introduce to you some of the things that are going to be helpful and concepts and understanding the thought process behind getting clients. So one of the first things, and really quick, if you haven't watched or tuned in to uh, day one or day two, make sure you go ahead and do that before watching this video. I mean, certainly you can watch this video without having having watched the other two, but they do build on each other. So if you don't watch it before watching this one, definitely do that after this. And if you choose or want to tune into these um, lessons, you can certainly do so. I linked below how to access the podcast as well. All right. So discovery calls when it comes to landing clients, and it's really about building the no like, and trust factor. And one of the ways that you can build that no like, and trust factor is through what is called a discovery call. And a discovery call is an opportunity for you and your potential client to get to know each other a little bit more and to learn about each other sort of kind of like dating a little bit because you're feeling each other out. You're seeing if you're a good fit. You're trying to assess and qualify if you can really help that individual. And if that individual, that potential client is a good fit for you. Reason why these discovery calls, and I actually like to call them strategy sessions. um, The reason why they are extremely powerful is because if done right, they can um, allow for you to be, create profitable business. Because if you attract the right clients and you have the right conversation with the right person and you then land them as a client, you have a what's called a high conversion rate. But more importantly, then you are able to grow your business. Now, when it comes to beyond the discovery calls, and like I said, I usually call them strategy, complimentary strategy sessions. Um, the biggest thing is, is that most most of the time, someone's not going to reach out to you simply and say like, hey, I want to pay you money, right? Not in terms of like cold turkey reaching out saying, hey, I read your website. Like, I want to pay you money, okay? Um, that it's, it's possible, but it's usually not the norm. And for that, I want to introduce to you two different types of marketing. There's inbound marketing and then there's outbound marketing. And inbound marketing is where people are arriving on your platform. So a couple good examples are that if you have a website, people are, you're driving what's called traffic to your website or, and, or Instagram as well. And you attract people to your website and Instagram through content that you create. And once they're on your platform, you invite them to take action, which is also known as a call to action. So what this might look like is that you have your Instagram account and let's say you help business owners teaching them how to elevate and engage with their Instagram account. Okay. So with that, you're sharing all these tips on your Instagram account and you are producing content on Instagram and someone comes across your profile and they start reading the content that you're producing about how you, how they as a business owner can increase and elevate their Instagram account. So they see that and then they look in their, in your bio and there's a strong call to action to say, schedule a free strategy session. So then they go to that link, which I'm going to show you that process tomorrow. And we're going to talk about some visibility things on, on, um, day five, but that's just to give you an idea of inbound marketing inbound is where you're creating that content that is driving that engagement for people to come onto your website, come onto Instagram and take action. And again, it could be any other social media platform. I'm just using website and then Instagram because people are most familiar with that. All right. So that is inbound marketing. Outbound marketing is when you reach out to people, you initiate the conversation with the potential client. So outbound marketing techniques would be sending emails to your immediate network. You are reaching out to your immediate network. It could be finding your ideal client on Instagram and then sending them, let's say a voice memo. So before you're even initially inviting them to get on a discovery call or a strategy session with you, you are then offering something um, of value in exchange first. So what this might look like is finding your, your ideal client on Instagram and knowing that you could help this person. 
and you introduce yourself in a voice memo or a text. I actually prefer voice memo. I think that's a great way to really connect and build the know, like, and trust factor for someone to get to know you even more on an intimate level, right? So you send the voice memo, you introduce yourself, you tell them who you are and what you help other business owners um, with like that individual, like her, and your invite comes at the end. So you might say something at the end that is like, you know, my name is Caitlin and I help other business owners just like you really leverage their Instagram to grow their business and to attract their ideal clients. And I saw some things that I would love to do a free complimentary assessment for you, um, in ways that you could just make a few different small tweaks that could really help grow your business. Um, I'm interested, you know, if you're interested, I would love to share that with you and do a total complimentary free assessment and we can set up a time to chat. Okay. So that's a little bit different from the outbound versus inbound. Um, outbound is you taking more of the initiative to be able to attract and to land that client. So to give you a visual representation, you've got two types of marketing inbound. You got strategic content that is essentially driving traffic to your platforms. And then on your platform, you can have, you're inviting them to jump on a free discovery call that then you convert into a client. The outbound marketing is individually uh, like outreaching to that potential client. You can offer that free assessment uh, it, as you reach out with then coupling saying, hey, also I would love to schedule a quick call with you to go over what um, I found through my assessment. And then you have that conversation and it leads to a client. The last thing that I want to talk about in this, in today's training on day three is really how to create that buying environment when you're on the phone call, when you're on your discovery session, your strategy session. And there's lots of different ways and things that I could teach in this, but I really wanted to focus on some key things that um, you can then take after this training and really go in and focus when you get on your next call. So we talked about this yesterday about narrowing down the choices in terms of service offerings, because we don't want to make it overwhelming for the potential client to say yes. You really want to focus on using open-ended questions during your strategy call. And most strategy calls, I like to use 20 or 25 minutes. I think 20 to 25 minutes is a really good time frame to have a meaningful and impactful conversation when done right and set up properly. Using open-ended questions allows for you to ask that question and for the other individual to answer and talk, which again, you're also building trust because people love to talk about themselves and their problems, right? And this really helps you pull out all the challenges that that individual is facing so that when you get to the close, you get to the recommendation about moving forward and next steps, you can then use their language in your close, in the recommendation. Definitely allow the other person to talk most often, so many times, and I'm guilty of this, is that we are not actually listening. We are just waiting for the other person to stop talking so that we can start talking, but really sit in and be present and listen and be curious and be interested. And so then that way you get all that information at the end of the call because you want to create a buying environment because nobody, very rarely do people want to be sold to. I at least don't want to be sold to. I would rather buy. And that's what we want to do. And again, this helps build the know, like, and trust factor. All right. So that is for today's lesson. Again, we're talking about inbound and outbound marketing, the difference between the two, the importance of having some sort of discovery call in your sales process, and then how to actually create a buying environment while on the call. And if you, I would love for you to come hang out with me on Instagram. It's at she did it her way as a handle. We've also linked below and DM me screenshot, show me, I want to see you. I would love to meet with you and then engage with you and also know like what has been the biggest aha so far of the challenge and make sure to tag she did it her way. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for day four training that is all about how to set up the physical process that's going to replace your website so you can start to land clients and start engaging, start setting up those conversations so that you can land your clients. I'll see you tomorrow.